Welcome Boogie back, boogie. <laughs> We're going to start back up here in Precinct 3, the Selesnian Conclave, where you guys had left off after talking to the Tristani about the uh, using the Verdante Center as the Guild Pack Summit location. Uh, they sent you off to talk to a Saint Vale who uh, supposedly was having troubles with a Great Worm that ran through his temple. Um, you guys found your way over to the uh, canopy area where you are at what looks to be some kind of temple. You guys had just drank out the water, <laughs> which you got the lesser restoration effects, removing Nietzsche's beard, unfortunately. And Terrible. I believe Alex was heading inside of the building right now while everyone was talking. If I recall correctly. <laughs> so. Let me try it. R.I.P. the beard. <laughs> <laughs> that said, Alex, as you walk up to the top of the stairs here, uh, you can see inside there's this kind of like cross-laced pattern of like vines that kind of make up the archway into this the walls, like, you can't really see through, but they're they're just, like, uh, entwined vines and, and limbs and stuff like that of the tree. So, like, but they're, they're woven so thick that you can't really see outside inside the walls. But where you're at right now, you can see into the temple where you see several rows of pews where an uh, altar sits at the back. And you see this humanoid elephant man standing behind the altar looks to be giving a sermon. Uh, we're installing the title screen, by the way. Yeah. Right, my bad. <laughs> Welcome in. I hope everybody's having a good time. There in we a go. very Una fashion. Una also has a new look. <laughs> sure. <laughs> So you should be able to see from where you're at, uh, if I did the dynamic lighting correctly here. I don't think there's any dynamic lighting at all. There is no lighting. I see everything. No. Oh, well, forgot to turn that on. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was heavy last time. Yeah. I gotta say, this setting was amazing a second ago. Now it's Lots of black. Now, I can still see where my character's at. We got, got that good. But now I was just like, I was about to comment on how amazing those circular rooms could be. But now I have to pretend like I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> you were so. about the dryads earlier and stuff. Oh, yeah. Back to that. Fuck dryads. <laughs> <laughs> so, side note, I've been messing with the. The new dynamic. I mean, it seemed like she was interested. In With like the doors uh, and windows. Kelly. Yeah, it's super dope. I love it. Love it. Speaking of which, I'm gonna throw some mics down next week because. Okay, Bob. Okay, Bob. Who's this character? Um. This one on. right here specifically. <laughs> Just a moment. <laughs> Some lights up in here. Okay. Y'all making be... me zoom up. She looks like, like an Anise. Okay. <laughs> Which character are you does. looking at here? It does look like he's got oh, some, some e-girl headphones. I just put sure. a random character. <laughs> so it looks to be inside uh, in this room, like on the pews, there's several Selesnian commoners, they all look very, like, uh, dressed in like, modest clothes. They A lot of them don't wear shoes, things like that. Uh, they look a little unkept, I guess. Uh, they, they seem to be very in, t in tune with nature, uh, these, these people here. The Luxodon, the elephant guy at the top, he... Uh, he seems to be dressed a little more style 
push, I would say. Like, he's dressed in this long, flowing green robe, and he holds this, like, uh, holy symbol. It looks like a, a tree that, like, has these vines entwined around it. And, and as he, he speaks, he kind of holds it. Oh, God, another priest. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, See his clothes? See his parishioner's clothes? Yeah. I rest my case. <laughs> I have noticed a walk behind the church. That is correct. You see a set of stairs that do lead upwards. Um, they look like they bend. As far as you can see, they, they seem to bend, and then you can't see any farther up the, the walkway. What? I loudly this time? Uh, you could try if you wanted to. Uh, currently, Avril is... Uh, yeah, we're uh, outside still. still. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't need to be inside to loudly if interrupt. We were R.I.P. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, there we go. So what do you guys do? Okay, where do we need to go? You guys saw Alex head up these stairs right here. Perfect. I will carry on after him, not sobbing. Okay. I will just be silently sobbing as I walk up the stairs as well. Did we ever figure so... out where the worm is supposed to be? No. no. I think we were supposed to talk to somebody about that. That is where the random yelling may come into play. Because I'm going to be like, here, wormy, 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 <laughs> as I just walk directly in the middle of his ceremony. I, I think that it's up in the canopy. Like, we, me and, me and Una, when we were there, I heard a rumor that like there was shaking in the trees and stuff up there, but we don't know for sure. So instead of going on like a wild goose chase, we're trying to narrow it down. I think. I honestly, I feel like you guys already know where we're supposed to be going, and he's just here to fuck shit up. I, uh, I'm definitely seeing that he is going to interrupt some ceremony. I'm gonna do the whole like, oop, not with him, fucking shoulder turn, and uh, just walk a good like. 50 feet away. Wait for this. Like order. Nah. order. Okay, so you guys step in the, the room uh, or the, the temple area here. I'm going to try to flag down the priest. Uh, if he kind of brushes me off, then I'll walk towards the stairs. We got a slow moving oh, roll 20 right. now. And Sarah made it. Then we'll hey. bring up the rear because she is right in the of her dire roll. Here, wormy, wormy, wormy. <laughs> So, as as Alex walks in first, kind of makes his way up the right side of the um, chapel area, the Lexodon definitely gives you a glance as you try to motion him away. He um, starts to finish up his sermon uh, as quickly, like in a, in a faster pace than he was going. Uh, but suddenly, Avril comes through the back <laughs> to hear <laughs> Wormy Wormy, and he uh, kind of like, oh. And that that will be all for today. Uh, thank you for attending. And um, don't believe me. This is the dryads. You get several yeah, like sure dryads in the fucking crowd. And you all, yeah, see yeah, fuck the them too. One. I'm pretty sure this entire guild listens to, listens to dryads. Isn't it like their whole thing? Yeah, no, all of them do. Actually, a hundred percent. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. listen to them. They listen to dryads. You definitely know that the the dryad trio that you just talked to, the Tristani, was the guild leaders. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. No, I fully know that. I know that in character and above board. I'm yeah, you, you're getting some very angry glares at you as you enter the chapel, Avril. I just sit in the yeah. back pew. The gruel is recruiting. God, that's gonna get you killed, dude. <laughs> Okay. So. Also, we're looking for a worm. Um, Una, Una's just gonna sit in the back of the church on the dire wolf. I'll just be right here. Uh, Won't sit in pew. Blackwell is uh, visibly um, disappointed. Runners uh, attentively studying the foliage on the wall over here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so 
disassociated completely. Do you guys see a lot of the um, commoners start to flood outside of the church? They start to head out. Um, the the priest, uh, the, the the Luxodon man, he looks rather old. He kind of like is making his way down with a cane, like uh, towards the center of the room or towards uh, Alex, uh, kind of motioning to the center of the room where um, he says, no, this, this is quite an interruption here. And, uh, who are you? Um, I want to inform him of um, our business with the uh, with the dryads, and that we're looking for the worm home and the about location or uh, where or if you could possibly point us in the right direction. He says, uh, "He said, well, very good. I'm glad to see there. They actually care about what's going on around Precinct Three. Blue dryads." Sound like the list of like, I wish I knew the silence spell. He kind of looks over towards the arrow. He's like, now I would be careful with what you say out here. The dryads are very important to the members of the Selesnia Conclave. I would imagine like a dryad would still hear them through like the trees and just like give them a little tap on the rear with like a vine or something. Absolutely. I'll punch him. Um, he says, No second thoughts. Now, I don't know where the worm went, but I do have strong suspicions that it's that crazy old man that's been walking around town over the last month or so. You think he's uh, responsible for the worm? Well, he's been walking around claiming that he's found enlightenment, and the nature spirit, uh, Gia, has showed him the prophecy of a coming end rays, whatever that means. That definitely sounds like some of the uh, more bad apples we've run into. Um, so where where is he now? Do you know? I don't know where he rests his head at night, but I haven't seen him in the last day or so. But I have heard rumors that there's been rumblings of the great worm up in the canopy where my previous temple was. This is actually my new home after it got destroyed by that cursed thing. I must say, yikes! It, it seems strange, but to clarify for us less intelligent individuals, um, are you saying he thinks he is the worm, or is a prophet of the worm? Kind of missed what you said there, Avril. He said, "Is he the worm?" Or is he a prophet of the world? Like, what? Like, that's a serious distinction. Well, he's definitely not the worm. He's just this old man, but he... Okay, well, the worm's not like dragon. No, no, no. He, He's like... He, he claims to be the prophet, however, I see it as uh, blasphemy, in my opinion. I can go find him. Well, I don't know if there's any well, violence. Um, so I'm not too familiar with this area. I'm, I'm actually new here. Um, where would uh, the canopy uh, be most easily accessed? He says, well, the canopy is just what they call the housing area up to the north of Precinct 3. Okay. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. I apologize for interrupting your service. It's it's quite all right. I I just do hope you bring this whoever the culprit is to justice. Have a good day. I do not apologize. And he just walks out. Uh, gotcha. uh, is there a um, donation uh, bowl or something? Um, he's oh oh no, friend. We we don't take coin here. We just ask that you please. Please take Give care of the tree. <laughs> Wait, what? We just ask that you please take care of your local trees. Oh, oh God. Then uh, I will plant a uh, seedling. And I will grow a seedling with dirty ground. 
Dude craft can do it too. I wish okay. I didn't agree with that so much. So oh, you you would be a good fit for one of us young men. I I appreciate uh, you. so much to say. <laughs> he kind of takes your hand and he says, uh he said, May the great Matt Celestia be uh, bless you. As, uh, Zoom time. <laughs> It, just just a random moment of chaos. Um, Una is going to send a message to uh, <laughs> to the to the guy up there, and she's going to speak in abyssal and just be like, "Burn all the trees! Burn all the trees!" Oh God, what was that terrible noise? Are you playing tricks on me, young man? It's probably the triads. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, well, I mean, you haven't dealt with them like I dealt with them. Trust me. Trust me. Bad instances. Well, you guys best get get to going on now. I, I, this is a holy place. High five. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, probably because of the dryads. <laughs> <laughs> he just like turns, <laughs> like, like walks away. You just say, hey, you want to talk about growing more trees, though? I'm in. That's, that's what we do like to, to hear around here. Is, is but, like, I'm not going to worship them. Like, they're useful. Like, have you ever had a fire before? Oh, yes. No, they, they are useful, but but they are sacred. Sacred beings. Oh, yeah. They... Sacrificial, sacred, digitally, sacra. What's the word for old and sacred? And makes a fire. I don't know. That. <laughs> that's what they do for me. Well, I... I'm going to grab Averwise collar and walk out. <laughs> ah! Jokes on you! I don't have a collar. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing armor. You got a collar. I, say, I don't understand how he's still pulling me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Avril, did you insult somebody all of a sudden? Oh, I assume I insulted a very large majority of the people that I've come across since being here. You should be whispering in their heads with a message to sell. That's what I've been doing for the last few minutes. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good idea. I have no yeah. idea how that spell works. Oh, I'm going to actually that quantifies with most of the spells. I don't really understand how you guys do any of that, uh, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out a rolled up piece of paper out of my jacket and bop Una in the head. Hey, uh, what the fuck? Ha, bad Una. You should just openly tell them that you don't like them. If if Ravnica has a holiday season like Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever, I'm gonna get Blackwell a spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> right. I have a produced flame in her hand like try me kiss me again what what happens <laughs> I'm not afraid to set you on fire <laughs> set the spray bottle to squirt just the, squirt squirt the, squirt the squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes to the like we're back down to the just a whole argument of Blackwell if you set a black wall on fire and he disappears, is he still on fire? I don't know. That's a that doesn't even sound. That's not a philosophical question. He's just a person on fire, then. But he's in. Yeah, Rapid. but he's also not there anymore. If you're just... presenting that like if a tree fell in the forest and nobody was around to hear it, if you set a man on fire, he's just on fire. Like there's look no... when he disappears. Do you hear him? <laughs> I don't hear him. I don't either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is he even still here? He does. He just disappear. He never told us. All I know is that there's Blackwell. Then he's not there. Because and then he's over there. Milwaukee, of course. I've even tried to trip him. Have you ever tried to trip something you cannot hear or see? I have. It is I apparently have. very unsuccessful. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. But For my cool. very scientific mind, I don't know. That's that's why you get the walking and talking. Or something with really good resistant <laughs> smell. I mean, my wolf could probably smell him out. Yeah, but those wolves didn't. The orcs, they couldn't smell him. Hold 
he disappeared. Oh, the gig. Did, yeah. did you guys? I noticed that while punching someone in the mouth. How did you miss it? <laughs> well, I was kind of trying to get ready to light some shit on fire. Look, if, if this whole plan went to shit, I was going to light that big old pile on fire and just go, you know what? You're not getting your shit. We're leaving now. That's what maybe, I was supposed to do. Maybe you focus on fire too much. Maybe you need to focus on the second. I, I'm a fire person. I'm supposed to. I mean, can, do you not know this? The flaming red hair. Come on. Yeah, but you're like always on fire. I like, used to have hair. <laughs> What? what? <laughs> you didn't Water. lose all that with the mask and everything? It's, uh, it's just gone. We actually, we've debated that. We're not sure. We haven't been able to tell. We can't see under the mask. <laughs> so, if your mask has hair underneath it, then you lose hair. Did you have hair? We're I back mean, to philosophical conversations again. <laughs> it's been a few years since he put it on, and at no point has his hair grown below the rim of the helmet. So, my theory is the hair just went away. He's he's bald. No eyebrows, no nothing up there. He has hair. It's just another dimension. Wait, also, what are dimensions? Because that has been popping up recently, and I feel like that should be touched on. Maybe it's just growing mangled all around his head. He's growing a shell. It's just starting very slowly from his top side. So since we're it would, like out of out of character, it would look really dope if like Nichek's armor developed to look like a beetle carapace, like you know, with the wings and everything. What? <laughs> I said, looking like a scarab. <laughs> yeah. I am so the beetle board. Philosophical here. What was that earlier about you guys having to deal with Cult of Ragnos while I was drunk and passed out? Oh, I feel like this is definitely a sit down and talk conversation, not a walk and talk conversation. Oh, yeah. It wasn't that. It wasn't that big a deal. There was a couple of Ragnos that just didn't want to let the party end, and we we had to convince them to go home. Exactly how. What? That is how you're describing that? Okay. Like seriously, um, I need to know. How good the party was beyond I mean, my I, perspective because you know what? I made me I had a great time. Oh yeah. There were a lot of oh, little yeah. red guys coming out of holes that were uh, having a lot of time laughing. There were so many things I could punch absolutely freely. Dude, you punched so much shit. It was awesome. I don't okay. know if she knows what tacklers are, so <laughs> that's what I was talking about. Uh, I don't know if she would or not. I th my mind went to a clown car. So, <laughs> Inna definitely knows what cackles are. They're pretty pretty okay. common around ragdos. They're just like these little imp kind of creatures, little oh, the demon little things. Creatures I get to pet occasionally. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they um. So you guys are headed towards the canopy. You said. Uh, is that where yeah. the dude's supposed to be? Uh, well, you <laughs> didn't ask. Uh, his name, but that was Saint Bale uh, that you just okay. talked to. I mean, if it's uh, that big a deal here, probably any passerby we come by. Why don't you guys just ask somebody? Look, there's a guy right there. Just ask that guy where he where the rumors of the worm have been. Hey, you. Where's the worms at? Oh, uh, sorry. I, I don't believe I met you. Um, worms. Uh, We're looking for someone who worships worms. It's crazy, the kooky old man. There's a uh, big worm done lots of damage. Where we, where yeah. I'm sure you've heard of it. Where's it at? More appropriately, uh, we have been um, contracted by the dryads to look for a disturbance. Um, it seems Blue to be this... Okay, it seems to be. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be connected to this elderly man who is uh, claimed to be enlightened by the Lord. Uh, do you know anything of this, or um, see anything? The man seems to have disappeared for a while now. So he like looks like he's about to start answering your questions. Uh, then he hears boo dryads, and he just kind of has this angry look on his face towards Avril as you're speaking to him, uh, Blackwell. And he's like, "Well, I don't know if I should be talking to you all." 
And I'm going to bop Avril in the head with that rolled up newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Watching this, she's going to do the, a message towards the guy that, that they're talking to, and just start speaking a bissel in like little whispers, just random bullshit. Uh, <laughs> sir, we're we're obviously not all of the same opinion. That's he just seems to have something weird about tries. What? Where? Did, where were you about to say? You've never had to deal with them. As you speak to him, Darth <laughs> or Brunner, you you see his, his expression go from like angry to like. Like scared, and he's like, I, I gotta, I, I gotta get out of here. And he starts to run off. Pussy. Okay, we're we're gonna try this again, but without them talking bad about their leaders. <laughs> well, I don't know why they chose them. They've been so many other options in photo speeches. Avril, Avril, come on, you and I can go cause chaos. Well, we'll also go look for it. I think we should split and look for more people to talk to about this. And Avril can come with me, and he and I can go cause some fucking chaos. Oh. Well, I mean, in general, I, I like most of everything that's going on here. It's the dryad part that I have a problem with. Yes, I know you have a problem with the dryad part. So I've given Huge you problem! Out. Who would have guessed? I'm just gonna like quickly whisper into <laughs> Apple's ears, like I've been sending messages in a missile towards them every time he they tries to talk back to you about the dryad. It's been hilarious. <laughs> oh, we are so counterproductive. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to um, I'm going to look down at Avril and <laughs> with my with my the, the hilt of my spear pointing at him. I'm like, if you do this, if you keep <laughs> disrupting us. I am going to curse you, and I'm going to leave you cursed until you complete your next fight. <laughs> Wait. Curse not always that bad. You can do that? <laughs> I have so many questions about you. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm not really worried. That would actually be fun. Curse me, and then we fight. You know, we're going to fight you, or we're going to fight them. No, you I will fight the dryad. And then, and then yes. you get uncursed. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Are you doing that to Avril Blackwell? <laughs> I'm threatening to do it to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Avril has no idea how this works. And he has absolutely no idea whether or not he's capable of even doing that. Uh, he has been given the option to go with her to do other things, but, like, at the same time, like, he wants to fight this worm. And so he's pretty sure the next fight they're gonna have is the worm. So uh, he's gonna put his money on that uh, his allies are gonna curse their friend. But, I would, yeah, I would, we'll see how it goes. I would suggest her be the good cop in this situation. Be like, look, you wanna fight the worm, you're gonna have to shut up about the dragon. Honestly, I'm probably getting close to meat check and be like, maybe, maybe, I also want to fight like, them why didn't you go over there and ask that, that person over there where the worm's supposed to be while they're active? That's <laughs> probably the, 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 okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll get the ball rolling on this, because otherwise yeah. it's going to be forever. Meanwhile, I'm just talking shit to this <laughs> random guy on the street. I, He's following the dude. I would sneak away. Uh, and uh, ex excuse me, uh, kind sir or madam, uh, you very fair skin. <laughs> uh, so you you meet a uh, a gentleman. He's seems like he's got this small like dog on a on a leash, and he's like looks like he's trying to teach it to do something, like giving it treats. And as you come up. Says, uh, so, uh, what was that now? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I was just admiring your uh, your pet here. It makes me miss miss mine. Uh, what 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 are you trying to teach teach this 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 little fella? I'm trying to teach him to roll over, but he just so distracted by the treat. I can't get him to to um, learn anything. Well, see, have you tried like put in the treat like? down on the on the on the ground and then like kind of just moving it to the side a little bit while you like while you, while you kind of gently roll the animal over you know and 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 
got to say the command word. You got to say it like really firm, really, really nice each, each time you do it. Uh, and then af after, you know, give it, give it the treat and be ready to just do it, do it again. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time being a pet owner. I, you seem really knowledgeable in this. Here. Could, could you give it a try for me? Uh, well, I mean, I could certainly try, but uh, I, you know, I, I am not this this pet's owner. Uh, right, right. I I suppose I could give it a shot. Um. Yeah, he starts to like follow your directions. He kind of rolls them around on the ground as before he gives him the treat, and yeah, the. Dog starts to wag his tail. Um, he's like, okay, roll over, roll over. And he kind of just lays on his back and he's like, has his tongue sticking out. And he's like, ah, close enough. He gives him another three. But, oh, no, see, you know, that's, that's not the rollover. You're not, you I wish you the best of luck with this. Uh, I, and I'm sorry to bother you in this, these trying times. Uh, but, have have you possibly uh, seen uh, an an old man walking walking about claiming to be uh, a uh, on, under the influence of of, of Gia? Oh, I have I have heard about the old man. He's they say he lives over in the Concordance area. I've heard rumors that he's. There's been some weird people coming in and out of an old abandoned Orzov temple that was used to be there. Ah, yes. Uh, the, uh, there is some weird stuff that happens over uh, with Orzovs. I, I, too, heard rumor, but of of some strange goings in in the canopy of trees being taken down and or at least being brushed around. Do Do you by chance know anything of 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 what could be happening up there? Yes, yes, I've I've heard of that too. People have been staying away from the canopy area. Most people have evac evacuated their homes after the priest's Saint Mills Temple got obliterated. Not just the other day. Some someone uh, someone told me it was a a massive creature. Does does that seem to ring true with what you've heard? Uh, yes. Well, it, it's pretty common to see worms around Slesnia. They Usually use them for military forces, but someone must have broken one out. Uh, they, my goodness! They, yeah, they usually uh, keep them keep them above ground, even though they do like to to burrow. That's perhaps the worm is in hiding right now. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, if uh, and and are all of these worms uniform in their size, shape, and and capabilities? I'm not too sure, but I have seen a couple of varying sizes by uh, a degree or two. Ah, okay. Well, I I thank you kindly for for your 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 time, and I wish you the best with uh, what's 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 your dog's name? Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting question. Uh, his, his, name is, his name is Skittles. <laughs> well, I wish you the best. Still with, not as good as Eminem. With, with Skittles. Uh, <laughs> I, I, one final piece of advice. Uh, don't, don't give in and give the truth. He's very cute, but you, you gotta, you gotta make sure that they're, they're doing the whole thing before you just. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, I appreciate your help. Thank you. Thank you for the advice. Yeah, you. it's my pleasure. He uh, starts to like kind of mess with the dog. And he's like, okay, roll over, roll over. The dog kind of rolls back on his back again. And he's like, no, all the way. And he kind of pushes him over before giving him a treat. And there you go. <laughs> Give him a thumbs up as I walk away. Okay. <laughs> uh... And then I I go back to uh, to runner and I'm like okay so uh, I guess these guys have like worms uh, in their military uh, they use them for I 
the, these guys actually they have a full military uh at least that's that's what that guy said uh and he thinks that somebody might have let one of the worms go but he said that oh. he said that uh the up in the canopy uh people have been evacuated and then uh but the old man is uh not in the canopy well then what are we being asked to take care of are we wrangling up a bunch of escaped worms or are we neutralizing an old man uh well to, i am not entirely sure maybe you know maybe we should just like split up like maybe we should send una and avril like up to the canopy and then we'll we'll go over and, and see what this old man's doing and then uh you know we'll we'll just meet back up with them and in, in in the canopy it's i could always send idea. you a message or send one of my animals to come get you if something happens it's, it's not a bad idea just in case you know the whole punching first asking questions later thing may not be the approach here that's uh, you know especially with an old man it's uh, oh, uh yeah i'm sorry what was that una una's listening i said I said maybe, you know, with the split up, um, if something happens with Avril and I while we're up in the canopy, you know, I can always send one of my animals to come get you guys if something's up. Or send a message, since I'm really good at doing messages right now. <laughs> that is, that, that, that seems like it wouldn't be too, too bad of a, an idea. Just as long as I know what general direction you're in within, like, no, a hundred and twenty something feet. I at least. think we'll be a little farther away than that. Oh. Then definitely I will send one of my animals to you. Look Fuck at the dryads. <laughs> um, yeah, because we would be going south while they would be going like northeast. Also, if we find something, I have my dire wolf, so we can easily get away if we need to. So, I'm sorry, where are we going? We don't know. Wait, do you want me to run? Well, I don't know about that. Uh, so, Black Blackwell uh, kind of uh, got this idea here. Uh we could send uh, the chaos brigade uh up to the canopy uh while we go down to concordance and uh investigate the old man uh and or at least he's he's gone missing from what we understood so we can kind of figure out what's going on over there uh without people being afraid of us. Uh, the only... Yeah, it sounds like a really good idea. At the same time, I don't want to leave Una and Avril unsupervised. The, I mean, the worst case scenario, they what? find they find the great worm, and Avril punches it in the face, and it just eats him. <laughs> it eats him or he dies. Yeah. <laughs> Both work in this a gets off as easy as me just punching it in the face. I have two <laughs> hands. Yeah, and apparently these or... were military worms. Uh, they were used in the, for formal battle, I guess. That's what that so guy with Skittles says. I don't know if we're supposed to this be. Sounds fun. I don't know if we're supposed to be like recapturing them or killing them. You know, that's something we never got the details on, so let's just kill it and be done with it. Honestly, well, 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 from, there, from, from what I understand, from what I understand, they like to avoid violence. So capturing or um, subjugating would probably be... Of course, of course, so you want me to ride it into battle against the ghoul? Hell yeah! That is a great idea, Avril! I love it! You go ride it against the ghoul, and I'll 
blade right behind you on the dire wolf. Woohoo! Yes, I like this. We'll, we'll do this. All right, I will capture it. Okay, so we'll send the demon and the fiend after the worm, yes? I think that's the plan. Oh. So, I have um, Right now, we just got Genji in power. I still have my net that I never got rid of. I mean, to be fair, this thing's been through some shit, but hey, my net's still pretty good. Oh, I have zero confidence in my ability to rein either one of them in, so <laughs> I uh, I don't know if I'm the one that's that's there to bring common sense to that. Oh, we have a great idea. This plan has been thought out. We are going I'm to trying to say they did not talk to eventually... anybody. Even though you're both the most charismatic people in this group. Do not talk to anybody. I was going to say, well, I don't know. I have no promises. I don't promise much. But so, I will punch the shit out of a fat worm. So yes, no, look for the worm. That is what you're doing. Looking for the you guys. Worm. Okay, are, good. I will make sure to ask many people to figure out where the worm is. You guys are gonna go up no. there. See that? See that? Uh, see that? See that? Well, well, let's just call it a canopy. See that? That space up there? That's where you guys yeah. are gonna go. That's where the worm is supposed to be. Wrangle. Okay, are you pointing at trees right now and trying to? Describe to Avril what a canopy is. <laughs> yes, yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Awesome. Okay, cool. That's what I thought you were doing, and I it just took me a second. I was like, wait, is he trying to describe to Avril what a tree canopy is? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Avril's looking at you like you're tarted. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. People have been evacuated up there, so that you might not actually find anybody. You might need to rely on your senses, your tracking skills, to locate. Oh, oh these. yeah, already. The, like the stuff you would use if you would regularly be within trees and canopies, on like underground where you were in tunnels. Correct. So you guys, good, 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 good. As you guys are standing around talking, um, you hear someone over in the the corner of the the area that you're in what is that uh blackwell and runner you guys notice this weird looking dark shadowy figure flying overhead hey fuck you dark figure oh wait it wasn't me shit never mind uh can i do a perception check or something to see if i can see closely uh, sure. Or get some kind of detail of what this could be. Is it yeah. flying under the canopy or above the canopy? Like, so where you guys are at, you guys are kind of walking down like a street of uh, precinct three. There's like trees around, but you guys are in this kind of like um, more open area. Yeah, like an open area. Can can okay, we so it, can we go back to the other map real quick? The precinct three uh, map. Sure. Cause like I'm, guys... I'm pointing up, up here. Yeah, you guys are all about. Actually, right about here. As I uh, as I concentrate on it, and try to get a better look. I'll uh, I'll bring attention to it. Do you guys uh, see that? What is that? Would I recognize it? Um, let me see. Uh, so, Runner... Let me see here if you get a... Ugh. Uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> what, the Dark Lord is here? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Alright, Voldemort, let's do this. Uh, so, let's you... And the Nazgul are about to pour in. Yeah, you see, you see that. Um, you don't immediately recognize it. However, uh, as it kind of turns through the air, it kind of you get a glimpse of the rider. This you do recognize. Uh, this looks like a Demir agent, <laughs> and it's, it's noticed all you. This, all this is not good. Okay, I'm just gonna trust in the fact that I don't look like myself right now. So. Uh -huh. 
what? That doesn't look good. Is this what um, we're supposed to kill? No, uh, that's a lot of work. No, that's uh, that's that's Demir. Oh, I'm gonna punch him anyways. He looks dangerous. We, we should probably not try to draw any more attention than we already are. All right, so we're splitting up, right? Okay. Okay, that's so. That's a great idea about that. How much like a worm does this thing look like? <laughs> Not like a worm. <laughs> okay. All right. More, so, more like a dragon. Yeah, worm as a, it's not. It's not like a maybe decipherable as. Yeah. All right. So I was just kind of looking for a reason to to punch him in the mouth, but there's not a good reason. I guess. Okay. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do? I also can't um, really reach him. Yeah, he's he's flying about um probably about eighty feet overhead at the top of you. Oh, he's... I could totally reach him if I tried, but I'm saying like it's not a feasible like I could just punch him in the mouth, which is what he's going for. Yeah, he he's making several passes looking for something. Uh, so what? <laughs> Yeah, what, what do you guys do? Are you guys taking off, or are you gonna stick around and see what happens, or what are you guys gonna Yell do? Yeah, like, like you seen a worm? Oh god damn it! Oh, Separate from that. Oh, Separate from that. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm just gonna go run underneath a tree. <laughs> okay. Uh, so as you say that, Avril, you, you see its head snap towards you, and it starts to fly down from. From the sky towards you. Go ahead and roll initiative for me, please, guys. Uh, so at this point, uh, we're just gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to take care of it. <laughs> I will say that I didn't intend for it to go down like this. God damn it! <laughs> I uh, the first thing I would do is put my hands out to the side. Just look. If this doesn't need to devolve to violence, let's try to have a patient. Sure. I was going to suggest. Uh, Teleporting you up there and then kicking them off the thing and making them take fall damage. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> now, right now, I got a note saying that there's an issue, and somebody that knee check feels okay in, in killing because they're bad has also given information that this has gone sour, but I have not actually confirmed anything. So this uh, could be this could go any direction. This guy could land and immediately attack, or he could land and want to have a conversation. I don't know what. I I don't want to kill Vrathka, but I will. I for once don't want to punch him in the mouth immediately. Okay. So as he starts to fly down towards you guys. Uh, Mister, you should take Skittles and get out of here. Uh, he's oh oh, oh god oh god. When you Someone start to Scandy, start to see people like notice and they start to look like they're running away. Um, that in mind, uh, runner, you see this thing start to fly down towards you. What do you do? Um, I'm just going to hold my arms out to either side, palms open, so that you can see my hands don't have anything in it, and just wait for him to land. Does it look like he's coming right at me, like, attacking, or is he going to land close by? He looks like he's making a dart directly towards you. Okay, so he's not coming towards me, he's coming towards him. Can I notice that? Well, he's coming towards the group, so it's oh, kind of all of you. Yeah, I would like to be centered up in the, the in front of everyone. Yeah, I'll um, I'll yeah, just. I'll I would say that. my prepared action is if somebody goes past me for them, they're catching the floor to their face. Well, hasn't been your turn yet, Avril, so you can't have a prepared action, but. Whoa. <laughs> But, like, I did go in front of everybody and yell, you know. It just makes sense that I'd be prepared for something if 
I did that. Like, uh, that's just from my point of view. Like, I didn't go up and yell at somebody and just be like, oh, yeah, whatever happens, happens, you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. Because it's kind of, it's like overhead. It's not like out in front of you. It's like above you and it's like coming down. So it's kind of. So I would have yeah. enough time yeah. for me to see that something thing is happening and possibly react to that scenario or. Um, I think that's what this turn is. Yeah, that's that's what this turn is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. That said. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, stay still. I'll maintain eye contact with the rider, and I'll keep my hands out so that he can see that I'm not attacking. I'm just gonna hold. Um, so this thing starts to fly down towards you. It makes it about 20 feet off the ground, uh, in front of you. Dang it. As the rider seems to magically, like, teleport down onto the ground. And it starts to make its way up. Uh, You hear the, it's got this like very like um, echoey voice. It's like, you are the ones I'm looking for. And what is so, um, he is going to, Use an ability. I need all of you guys to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, shit. Okay. Is this a magical effect? It is a magical effect. Let's go. 23. Yeah. 16. Okay. 12. 23. Ooh. Okay. Oh, boy. Good thing you got advantage on that one, Avril. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> Right, right. And black, well, I need one from you as well, please. And and also the dire wolf. Oh, right. Okay. Um. Oh, my poor oh wolf man. Okay. So. What is he gonna do to my wolf? This guy sends out a blast of energy towards you guys, and it starts to, like, you can feel it, like, wrap your brain. Um, Runner, you're the only one to have failed there. Um, so you're going to take I mean, 20. That makes sense. You're going to take 22 psychic damage. Cool. Um, and you are oh. stunned for, for one minute. <laughs> nice. As yeah, the... Just hold my head and then collapse okay. yeah he starts to like twist your brain you can you can feel it in, inside of you um the rest of you guys did save so you guys don't come under the effects um i take it my dire wolf didn't pass your your dire wolf also just starts to <laughs> its brain starts to get uh twisted as well oh he hurt my dire wolf what the yeah, so that's 22 points of damage for the dire wolf if you haven't taken that off. No, of my wolfie! Oh, um, all right, that being said, what do you do? As you see Runner, look over, you see Runner like holding his head and he starts to like collapse on the ground. Uh, so what I am going to do, um, is uh i have that thing where i can just like pull the top three cards off my deck and just mm -hmm. like throw them out there okay. um so i'm gonna look over see runner just like writhing in pain uh and the is the dire wolf dead or still standing okay 
But he's at 15. Five, 37 hit points. Seven, that wolf don't go down easy. 20. Uh, I'm just gonna come up. Oh no, that's too far. <laughs> so, yeah, just right there. Um, and I'm gonna just take the top three cards of my deck and summon them right around this guy, for better okay. or for worse. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, I'm gonna let you flip oh, these yeah. over. <laughs> Would this ability allow me to cure a runner? I don't know because you said that was an ability, but it was magical, so I'm going to leave that up to you. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to walk over and you were going to throw me you're just going to leave them there? No, Check. so no, they're, it's just the, the top three cards of my deck and they just activate like whatever, they activate. They, whatever they are. Okay, so you're playing them face up. Yeah. Okay. Well, but but I'm gonna let out. you flip them and see what they are. <laughs> yeah, let's find out what happens. Um, let me read this ability real quick. It's just to hit point out of this. It's also and one spell of your choice in the levels. Um, I will allow. I will allow that to work. Did I not Black read Wall. it right? Oh, oh, Blackwell. Uh, yeah, yeah. Technically, I think it has to be a spell, but I'll allow it for this one. Um, okay. Let's see what the first one is. Oh, you got a best. <laughs> hey. Uh, do you want to make an attack with the, the pest token or pest creature? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll resolve this one at a time. Yeah. Oh, there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nine. Okay. Uh, that unfortunately is going to miss on that one. Um, yep. Put this one. Arms of Hadar. That's a good one. Hey. Okay. Let me see what that one does. <laughs> Can't remember what that is. Uh, I will click it here. Tentacle shit. Um, doesn't it just yeah. summon the like, radar in that one spot and they punch? It's 14. Okay. Uh, strength save. Yeah. Uh, it fails its strength save. Okay, so it takes seven damage and then uh, can't take reactions. Uh, but unfortunately, that would mean the the pest has to make it too because this is yep. yeah yeah this yep. has and actually it's ten feet so that would mean Una and the wolf too oh no okay <laughs> and the innocent bystanders <laughs> over there yeah sorry <laughs> I'm sorry what have I got to roll strength, uh, save. strength save oh shit okay. Randomonium save. Okay. So you take seven damage. You can't use reactions. That's fine. And oh, yeah, I gotta roll for the wolf. Too. My pest is three damage. Go, oh, Wolfie. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. You, you see these tentacles burst through the ground. They start to grab onto everything around. Um, there's like a, a lady kind of like seeing what's going on. She starts to run away. A tentacle grabs her and just like rips her. And the guy that was training the dog, he's like trying to back into the to the side of the wall. And uh, he is also grabbed or he, he kind of like, get back from Skittles and kind of knocks off of the 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 tentacle away from him uh i looks like the one of the tentacles grabs una and also the the wolf um i'm on my wolf's back so it got both of us yeah so you took 29 damage so far right so 
for the Wolves. So that's he's still up. Yeah, okay. he's still up. I'm I'm tracking him on my uh, thing okay. here. He's got eight health Dope. left. Gotcha. Dope. Okay. So um, <laughs> that said, flip over the card and see what happens here. Oh boy. Ooh, Earth and Grass. Interesting one. Okay. I'll share that one too. Um. Oh, another strength save. Nice. Okay, and that is thirty feet. <laughs> Ooh. Thirty feet. Is that like a? Uh. Like a so as range target a five foot square unoccupied space. Uh. It's concentration for a minute. Choose a five foot square. Uh. A medium hand made from compacted soil rises from there and reaches for one creature you can see within five feet of it. So that okay. would that would just affect that guy. Just the guy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the strength save. Yeah, strength what's save. Your, uh, what's your spell save? Fourteen. Four, be, right? Yeah, fourteen. Okay. He fails on the strength save again. So he takes nine points of bludgeoning damage and is restrained. Uh for the spell's duration. Hell yeah. Uh, and as an action, I can use the hand to crush the restrained target, which must make another strength save or take 2d6, um, and half as much on a successful one. To break out, the restrained target can use its action to make a strength check against your spell save DC. On a success, the target escapes and is no longer restrained by the hand. But as long as I'm still concentrating, I can reach out and try to grab him again. Wait, okay. So yeah, you you got your three effects there. That was your action. Do you have any? Uh, you moved. So any points you got? On the uh, no. I'm just gonna step front of a uh, of runner. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um. Uno. You see all this crazy stuff explode out of the ground in front of you. What do you do? Ah! Knee check! Ow! Sorry, I didn't know. Well! <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you know what? Una's going big here. You look up. I cast fireball. Oh boy! But All she's right. gonna try Jeez. to aim it kind of in the middle here, between the two, so she can get both of them. Okay. Uh, the The other guy is twenty feet off the ground, so it'd have to. It's, uh, it's a, a twenty foot, foot sphere. So yeah, that would still hit him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm casting my third level spell fireball. Okay. They have to make a dex, uh, dex, teen, dex 15 saving throw. Ugh, I almost said that too quickly. Okay, uh, the, the thing flying in the air uh, saves. Okay. So he'll take half. Okay. And the thing on the ground. You, what did you say the DC was? Oh, wow. 15. 15. He fails. Um, okay, was... so he takes a full 31 damage and, and the creature takes 15. I think this is going to hit those two commoners there. <laughs> so, um, uh, where do you yeah, want? It's a 20 foot sphere. That's for hurting my dog! <laughs> yeah, you see this, uh, one of the commoners is the dog. <laughs> See this fireball? She doesn't care about that dog. She cares about her wolf, which is her more right now. You see this fireball explode in front of you guys. Uh, it seems to kind of bend around the here on this side. Um, the both of those creatures, uh, or the one on the ground, goes up in flame as the other one kind of like flies and like uh, strafes out of the way. The one on the ground takes 31 damage. The top one takes 15 damage. And Do I need to make a save for the pest? Uh, I think... Uh, 
probably. I think Una could get it where she wouldn't hit the pest. I would assume yeah, she tries she, to not. Yeah, she, she would try not to hit the pest. Okay. She's to get it so it's in range of at least both of those creatures. So you see the gentleman you were helping me check? He's he's like, stay back from Skittles. He starts punching it and then just boom, fireball. And he's just kind of like a skeleton standing there suddenly. Um, Son of a bitch. He, uh, and then Una takes off on her wolf and will jump over here. Okay. To kind of be out of the way so that we're not all grouped up. Very good. Okay. Bring um, it, you son of a bitch! <laughs> you going after my friend? You deal with me. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> it's a fireball. Uh, Blackwell, that brings us to your turn. Can he understand? Um, um, you know, run first to him. Mm-hmm. He, he does understand abyssal. No, no, he does not. No, sorry, oh, no, he doesn't. Uh, he has no sorry. idea who this puppy Adam. Great. No. Uh, okay, you say you're gonna do that to to runner Blackwell. Yeah. So okay. eleven healing, and you shouldn't be paralyzed now. Correct. Yep. You your stunned effect goes off, runner, as uh, Blackwell places a hand on you. <laughs> okay, so I'm conscious. Uh, you, you're. Now- you were just stunned from the no stunned. the twisting of your mind, but it it has seemed to cease, and you are able to to come come to again. Um, then I'm going to run up to the dude. I'm going to uh, use Vortex Surge. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I have not got to see the spell used yet. <laughs> or uh, you put him 30 feet away from you, right? I think that's how it works. Something like that. <laughs> um, well, I, I activate the, uh, the weapon. Ooh, and okay. uh, it says... Oh, right. I was thinking of Vortex Warp. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's Vortex Surge. Okay, yeah, go ahead. What what you get? Vortex Warp is 120 foot space. That's what it is. That's right, that's right. Uh, all creatures within 60 feet of me regain 2d8. Ooh, very good. Is that creatures of your choice or just everybody? Every creature. <laughs> Everybody. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of got like a wild magic surge on with it? Yep. The mini wild magic surge. <laughs> um, so two? Okay. If that means the pest I out too. I <laughs> love this one. <laughs> All right. Um... That is your action bonus action movement. Um, Avril brings us to you. It might seem like a surprise to everybody, but I'm going to go punch this guy. Right. You do have advantage because he's restrained. His uh, feet up in the air. Well, I can fix that. How big is his pet? It's his, already burning. His pet is considered uh, huge. So. Okay. So, um, there's not, from what I can see here, large. He's considered um, large. Awesome sauce. So yeah, I'm going to water whip at the pet, and I'm going to pull him 20 feet closer to me. Okay. Yeah, you last shot uh, a whip. That's a save, right? Um, 
Free save? Uh, the poll is a save, yeah. Okay. Yeah, strength. Ah, uh, but I don't get hit with it. Nope. nope. You lash out the whip, it kind of cracks right next to to the uh, the flying creature as it kind of dodges out of the way. <laughs> okay, so I miss with that one, so I use my other attack, and I fucking kidney punch this other guy. <laughs> okay. That will hit. Um, I haven't discerned whether or not this guy is good or bad, so it'll be a regular punch. What? <laughs> it means like, it means like good, uh, inherently evil. Dylan, what's good? Like he might just be doing his job. You know what I'm saying? Versus, How you doing, I man? I just want to kill him. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, um, so... He might, you know, he might be doing his job that just not in our favor at this point in time. But you know, that's fair. Do you? Boo? Now, now that he's close, Ooh. is he even like? Because that token doesn't even look like a person. It looks like a creature. Yeah, you can tell that this is uh, an undead for sure. Like it, it uh, looks like a, a specter of some sort. So I would say after that, like, because I would like. I, all right, so in my head, I see him like many things go good, and you're great. Right him, like, okay, I'll take care of the creature, miss the creature, turn around, just punch, and then like look up and see like the skull looking back at me, and then him like unclasping the hammer off of his back <laughs> as he then like instead of like punching and then withdrawing it, he grabs onto the spine. So I'm gonna grapple with my bonus action. Okay. He's already restrained. Yeah. Oh, he's already restrained. Oh, so I would have had advantage on that attack, too. Uh, uh, yeah, for the second yeah. one. If you want to see if he crit, yeah. Yeah, I'll just see if I crit. And then after that, uh, he will then just go in with the hammer. So, see if I crit and then attack with the hammer. Okay. Not a, uh, okay. That was. I have the same to hit, but I did crit with the hammer. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> that does not crit on the first one. So you have three attacks. Dylan, right nice. I have my two attacks of my main turn and then a bonus action attack. So, yes. Gotcha. Okay. The bonus action attack was the like so my to hit with my hammer is the same as my unarmed. So yeah, I, I just you. clicked on that. So you do crit with your offhand attack. Uh, uh, so seventeen with the offhand. Seventeen with the offhand. Perfect. Okay. And I will punch in since this is an undead guy, and, and that was a surprise. I'm going to punch in a, a, a uh, radiant D8. Okay. Ooh, bunch of D and D gifts. D8. Okay. And a car. Let's go. All right. So you, you meant to do two D8s there? Just just double checking. That's a crit. It's a damage. Oh right. That's right. Oh, yeah. You're right. right. Okay, perfect. Yep. Yeah, you uh, you grab onto his spine. You come back around with your hammer, give him a whack, and he's just like, ah! <laughs> as you uh, slam with the crit. Oh, go ahead and roll a d one hundred two for me. Oh yeah, we're doing those. Hell yeah. How about that? <laughs> come on, one hundred. All right, sixty two. Um, sixty two is good. Hey, Rod so, uh, you are able to knock the uh, weapon out of its hand, which it doesn't really have one in its hand right now, I don't think. Let me see. Crush his hand uh, off. It, it does have a sight, so you can knock his uh, sight out of his hand if you choose to do so. Oh, yeah. If he has a weapon in his hand, I for sure want to knock it out of his hand. Okay. Fight me mano y mano, motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, so I'll I'll box you. You, you want to box me? No? All right, we'll get rid of that side. 
so you can knock his weapon out of his hand, or you can push him 20 feet away. Those are your choices. Oh, I, I want to push him 20 feet away. Okay. You know me. He's he's I restrained now. Just grab him and throw. Can I throw him into that fountain? Um, he is restrained. I don't think that. Uh, he he yeah he's restrained, but I don't want to lose his restraint, so I will choose to knock his weapon out of his hand. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, you kick uh, as you hit him with your hammer. The scythe goes flying on the ground. Oh, uh, nice! Next to him. So, with that, nice, Dylan. Um, this is weird. My fighting style is throw people all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you start to see the remaining counters start to run. Did you get? <laughs> did you get those like ones that like that was been on the monster are like moving that would have been awesome <laughs> all right um runner that is going to bring us back up to you oh that hurt uh, <laughs> well i guess the answer is that and i will fire bolt toward the uh the okay. boy all right Ooh. That's a come up there, Dylan. Can I push him for 20 feet away straight down? Um, do I get advantage for him being restrained? I yes. believe so, yeah. Yep, yep, advantage. Oh, oh wow. Doing good. Yeah, I, got to see the, I finally got to see the mimic. Yeah. Uh, so you launch a firebolt. Uh, you launch it just as Avril is kicking his sight out of his hand, and the, the bolt flies right in between them, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, you have a bonus action or anything you want to use? Um, he's a wizard. No, all right. You all right there, bud? Bet you this makes him sidestep right that hurt. into that. That was uh, hit he's gonna take. That was definitely what I was talking about. I, if you guys hadn't stopped, if you guys had stopped him, he probably would have taken me with him. I don't think this guy wants to talk. I don't think this guy can even talk. I don't think he knows where the worms are. I think everything that you guys well, just said say, is true. You did say you're the ones I'm looking for when he attacked. Yeah, that's true. This is also true. Yeah, but more importantly, he doesn't know where the worms are, so let's kill his ass and let's move on. Means I need to find a way off the Ravnica. Yeah, don't use uh, all your resources right now because we're going to find that. Okay, so the... So he's restrained by the Earthen Grasp, and is he also restrained by the Arms of Hadar? No, arms arms of Hadar is just uh like a just damage. Yeah. Okay. And it, and it, and it's gone now. Like it bursts and just then that's it. Attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he is going to try to break out of the earthen grasp. That's grasp of Hadar. DC 14 strength save. He got a fat 11, so that doesn't do it unfortunately. Nope. Way to he waste gonna, that action. He is going to bend down and grab his scythe. Um, I think he can kind of do that mechanically. I don't know. <laughs> He's going to try to grab for his scythe. He just can't uh, move. He, he hacky can't. sack flicks it up into his hand. Yeah. Yeah. He kicks it. The blade kind of <laughs> makes against the ground as he grabs it into his hand. Uh, that said, it is Vitek's turn. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to use my action to uh, uh, crush crush this guy. Um, so he needs to make another strength save. 11 again. <laughs> so he takes nine points of uh, bludgeoning there. All right. Um, and I think that's uh, I'll I'll have Pestichu attack. 
but then that's it yeah. for my turn. All right. I accidentally deleted the gloom looming. It is after you check. Uh, 12 is going to, uh, tries to bite at him, but it just kind of gets bone. It doesn't really, doesn't really affect him. <laughs> uh, that's a miss. Yep. yep. Um, that's it for me then. All right. Um, that will bring us to the gloom wing. He is going to try to get Avril. You are closest. Um, he Please swoops, pick me up. He swoops down to grab you, uh, or to hit you. Um, that is a 15 to hit for the first one. Not even and, close. And a bite for the second one is an 18 to hit. I don't think that does it either. Nah. Can okay. I still just grab onto him and hold on? Uh, not quite yet, mechanically speaking. <laughs> um, he, he is going to... Like, oh, no, you got me. He is going to try to fly up uh, 40 feet for the rest of his movement directly upwards. Um, he has flyby, so it does not provoke opportunity attacks. Um, Is it 40 feet? Oh, man, I'm going to have to expend some shit for that. <laughs> yeah, he's going to fly up there in Una. That brings us to your turn. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right. Una is going to use a sorcery point. To do her twin spell. Oh. Uh, let me find it here. Make sure I mark it off correctly. And she is going to do her firebolt. Uh, one on him and one on him. All right. There's the first one. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah. Four, and the other one is the sixteen. Sixteen. Maybe. I think the second one is gonna miss. Yeah, that one just Four, barely misses. Sixteen. Okay. You, uh, you have advantage on one of them. Oh, that's, that's true. That's right. That's right. Sure. I do. Uh, let me roll that second one again. Oh, there we go. Uh, dirty twenty. I believe it. Yeah, All you. Right. You uh, launch a firebolt and it starts to split off, going into the the different directions. One goes up one goes to the side and smacks both of them um go ahead and roll those damages please sure. uh well you have 30 damage there we go uh 13 and 10 and i'm also as my bonus action i'm going to do bardic inspire avril kick his ass <laughs> All right. gladly um okay <laughs> Uh, and uh, that is my turn. Blackwell, it brings us to you. That's one bony half. <laughs> I'm going to uh, guarding bolt the flying guy. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that was a great. Go ahead and roll a d100, please. Let's go. Nice. nice. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, the timing for this is amazing. I get a fucking D6 and advantage, motherfucker. Unfortunately, it's a 20. Is 20? Okay. Um, you will have advantage on the target until the end of your next turn. Uh, you know how to press the advantage of combat. Uh, 29. Wow, that's a... Massive one, nice. And it's radiant, if that matters. Um, definitely bursts through his resistances, but does not do any additional damage that you notice. Uh, all right, yeah, you you launch a guiding bolt, just 
absolutely incinerating this guy with radiant damage. Uh, do you have any bonus actions you want to use? Um, I was going to use Turn Undead, but that's an action. Yeah. So, not right now, no. Okay. All right. Um, Avril, you got a lot going for you right now. <laughs> Uh, what do you do? Alright, so before anything else happens, can I running jump off of that statue? Because I have 20 strength, and with a running jump, I can jump my strength and modify it. But I don't want to long jump it, I want to high jump it so I can get 20 feet into the air. And then I want to use my water whip to grab and pull the creature 20 feet towards me, and then grab the water. Okay, so that's a 15-foot statue. If you were to climb up to the top and you high jump, you can move 20 feet, you said? I On a running jump, I can jump 20 feet. Okay, but you wanted to high jump. Yeah, but I yeah I wanted to high jump specifically. So I was wondering if I could run and then like run up the side of it and jump and make it the 20. And I'd use all my movement for that. You have 30 feet of movement, right? Yeah, I have 30 feet of movement. Yeah, so the rules for high jump is when you, you can leap in the air and never feel equal to three plus your strength mod. If you move at least 10 foot feet beforehand. So that would get all your movement would get you up to... I think it could work. Um, go ahead and roll an athletics check for me. <laughs> Those are like honey in my ears, my dude. <laughs> oh my god, and I got a good roll. You did. I'm going to warn you <laughs> that this is going to do some fall damage after you make the attack. So. If I miss, because <laughs> I am going to pull him towards me and grapple him. So my it's first true. attack is going to be a water attack. Okay. So yeah, you you go running, you climb up the side of the statue, jump off its head, flying leap. <laughs> go roll your attacks, please. Yeah, so this is really just hoping that this hits. That does hit. That does hit. Awesome. Okay, so I get to <laughs> all right. So this is where the fun part comes in. It moves him twenty feet regardless, and you said I'm twenty feet off the air. So I will expend four points instead of one. It increases the damage by a D eight by each one I do, and increases the distance he moves by five feet for each one I do. I'm gonna and... tell you. I want to tell you real quick that you are 40 feet in the air right now, just so you know. <laughs> oh, I'm only 40? Oh, okay. Yeah, you are well, 40. I am 40, so I thought I was only 20. Yeah, you're okay. 40. <laughs> all right, so 40, that's going to do all my points in order to get him there. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the one. I'm going to pull him towards me, and then I'm going to do a second attack for a regular hit with the hammer, and then a grapple for my third. Okay, so you're going to water whip for, to grab him, is that what you said? Yeah, uh, I didn't mean to do advantage on that, so it would only be a 17. Okay, so the unarmed strike will hit, so that's your, that's your water whip, right? Yeah, the unarmed strike is the water whip, the next one is the hammer, and then the next is a grapple. He got a nat one on this saving throw for the water whip so he is pulled yes 10 feet, 10 feet is that what it, it is, is 20, 20 feet to me so he is Perfect. to me now so you save yourself 20 feet of fall damage as you're holding on to him and he's trying to like gain his his uh balance in the air um so you're about 20 feet off the ground and i'm grappled to him 
I with the water fails this. So the eighteen is a hit as well. So you can roll damage for both of those first two attacks. Well, it would be a seventeen for the second attack because I didn't have advantage on the second one. Seventeen still hits. So you're good. Awesome, awesome. I was gonna say if it it doesn't hit, you still have that bard against inspiration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's nine. This is All right. intense. And uh, damage for the uh Yeah, I'm getting on the the <laughs> hmm. trying to see if he dies before <laughs> he gets to the grapple. Eleven, okay. You still got the eight. It's just loading. You it's know, all good. Doing what all good. Do. It's all good. I wish I had a collection What's of a thousand books. Okay. And then this kid decided to roll more than once because I'm impatient. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so it's still alive, so it needs to make a uh, dexterity or athletics. Twenty. Yeah, twenty save. He got a 24, so he does escape the grapple. Roll that inspiration. Roll that bardic inspiration. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. It's a D6. Bardic inspiration. Okay. Okay. He's got a 24 right now. You got to get a 5 or a 6. 5 or 6. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Avril starts to slip off, and then he comes around (laughs) with the other one and grabs its foot. And it's hanging, you're hanging on to him. Um, oh, yeah, I have two hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're hanging in, in, in yeah, 20, 20 off the ground. Now. Um, and if it's locked, I'm just holding on for dear life, baby. <laughs> and he's just going to start punching this guy as much as humanly possible until he figures out how to get me off. <laughs> All right, runner. That brings us back up to your turn. Uh, that's not great. And I'm going to hit the flying creature with a ray of frost, so I can't go too far with my friend who's now dangling from his... Everybody should take a level in bard. <laughs> Everybody. Equal damage, and he has 10 feet of less movement. Okay, perfect. Still hanging on to life. Um, bonus action or movement runner? <laughs> What the hell is going on? How is he 20 feet in the air now? <laughs> <laughs> he just that jumped off the statue. He had something perfectly fine to punch right in front of him. He had to go punch that one? It's the it's the bigger one. He likes the challenge. That's fair. There's the more glory of the bigger one. It's, it's, that's what she said. <laughs> so you hit him with the uh, ray of frost uh, it, it hits him in the shoulder and his shoulder starts to freeze up you see this like uh, uh, pattern of ice start to go across his chest do you have a bonus action or a movement you want to do runner nope that's it that's my turn okay this guy this guy don't think he's gonna make the strength save <laughs> <laughs> can he make attacks um, he has disadvantage Perfect. Okay. Um, can't really make any use. Let's see if this recharges. Actually, it does recharge. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so, Blackwell, Nichek, and Runner. I need you to make me a Wisdom saving throw, please. I'm gonna use a Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use a Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yo. There you go. You guys all do save the uh, mind twist. Um, as he tries to send out that wash of energy over your brains again. Um, Is it weird that I want to find more items for knee track to get rerolls on that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's <sighs> something about that guy before he knocks us all out. That is all he can do this turn. A knee check. It brings us to you. Uh, okay. 
I am actually going to uh, summon a shadow on the uh, other side of, of this guy. Uh, so that way his strength score is going to be even less if this shadow yep. starts hitting him. <laughs> uh, there you go. Perfect. Um, All right. Yeah. You... Shadow. Ooh, yep, that hits. Yes. You throw your card as Shadow appears, lashes out towards him. That does eight necrotic damage, which he is resistant to. Um, his strength score goes down one. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to write that down. All right. Um, yeah, the bite eleven is gonna miss, unfortunately, on now. Just can't seem to get through <laughs> through that. Button. Yeah, just, no, he's just munching on his toe. <laughs> um, oh, I miss Pethachu. <laughs> uh, and then I'll just draw a card with my bonus action. All right. Wayne. Let's see what he can do here about this. Hmm, does he try to break the grapple? Where is he at? <laughs> oh yeah. He's gonna he's gonna try to break your grapple, Avril. That is terrible. <laughs> uh yeah. Doesn't quite kick you off. Um But he yeah, flies he sixty feet up into the air. Uh, yeah, he has some <laughs> movement left. Um, we go for a ride. <laughs> well, he's got ten less movement than he did yeah. before. So he has fifty feet. He can move. He's gonna move up to seventy feet Ooh. in the air. Luckily, you oh. big. You're gonna make a great cushion on the way back <laughs> down, motherfucker. Is he lifting above his? Weight limit there, like maybe uh, half movement. I, you know, I don't think so. He's got a really <laughs> high strength. <laughs> yeah, he's got a really high strength. I don't think so. He's, <laughs> see if you um, can see the worm from up there. Oh. Where's the worm? <laughs> <laughs> you, think he's, you think he's kind of digging this because it's kind of like flying? I imagine <laughs> he's having a blast. Right, Una. Uh, it's great to see you. Okay, uh, I have a quick question for for Nietzsche. Is the uh, oh, your reaction forgot. ability One other still thing. on me? Uh, no, that was just from the uh, initial. Okay, round. I I just wanted to check uh, because if if Avril falls, I got Featherfall on standby for a reaction. To uh, catch. That's but huge. He, but he's got to be within sixty feet of me, so. Just out of it right now. <laughs> Just out of it right now. But Una's gonna fire uh twin firebolts at, at this guy. She's gonna go with both of them on him. Okay. Because, like Av Avril's in trouble. <laughs> yeah, send it. Yeah. Uh, Avril does not feel like he is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna just I'm gonna do uh, He's got a complete grasp on the situation right now. All right. I fully am in control <laughs> of this thing. Yeah, you're so in control right now, Avril. 17? 17 hits. All right. Let's go. See if I bring it down. No. Nine. Mm. Yep, a nine is going to miss. Go ahead and roll a d20 for me, please. All right. So the nine is the damage. Oh, the nine is the damage. Okay, perfect. Yeah, nine Good is nine. damage. I thought that was the second roll. I rolled that too, also, because I forgot I do a deflection damage to anyone that had grappled every turn. Yep, I got it. Uh, so, nine damage on the first yeah. one. Go ahead and roll your second one for me. All right. I'll, I'll do the, uh, yeah, I'll do 
Uh, yeah, you know what? I will use the sorcery point because that was shit. All right. Oh, that was beautiful. Twenty-two. That's not lit. Holding on with these uh, resistances. Eleven damage. Eleven. Yeah, you. It's trying to fly up with Avril hanging from its uh, foot. You launch some fire bolts. They soar through the air. One blasts and starts to catch his wing on fire. Oh wait, one... hold on. Sorry to be that guy, but you can't twin spell to the same target. Ooh. Uh. I'm not. Hang on. Sure. I thought fireball uh, just got you two uses after you were one or something. Oh no, that's no, yeah, spot. second in range. Second in range. No, he's right. He's right. Well, dang. Okay, so you still. Right, I'll, I'll send it to the other guy then. <laughs> okay, you there still blast him. <laughs> you see his wings start to catch on fire. Um, the other one goes down to the other guy. Uh, doing eleven points of damage to him. You see him take the uh, fire bolts. Do, 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 do. You hear him shriek out as his clothes start to burn away and then he just kind of <laughs> and it turns into like this black dust uh, well, I'll take care of that one <laughs> Uno's just gonna shout Avril if you fall within 60 feet of me I can catch you I will not fall I will triumphantly return to the crown <laughs> falling on style keep going buddy you're doing great All I'm right. asking him whether he likes it or not Blackwell, one guy remaining. What do you do? We'll move. So she's closer if she can just, just be sure. Is it weird that Bruce Flame doesn't have a distance? Reduce. Oh, reduce. What? Uh, produce flame is a distance of 30 feet. Oh, really? Hmm. Uh, produce flame has has a distance of 30 feet. When it's because you you you're actually throwing it. Yeah. It's not like with fireball where you shoot it out. It like you make a ball of fire and throw it with your hand. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, because you can hold it as like a torch in your hand, essentially. Because it's supposed to act as like a tenth of light, and then if you need to, you can throw it like a torch. All right, chaos bolt. All right. Um, that unfortunately is going to fly by um, Avril and the uh, Bloom Wing. Because uh, an AC of sixteen, unfortunately. Fireworks, yes. <laughs> Got any bonus actions, Blackwell? Um, nope. All right. Uh, you want to make any movement? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good right here. All right, Avril. You see this uh, blue wing that you're holding it on to for dear life. Its wing starts to catch on fire. What do you do? I hit it a bunch of times with my hammer. Okay. Yeah, just straight up, it's hard for me to reach it. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> Without wasting resources. 24 will hit. Okay, go ahead and roll the damage for the 24 first. Roll them all up. <laughs> well, except for the 12. 12 is going to miss, but the other the other two do hit. 10, okay. 10. All, all right. So you start whacking away at this thing, just <laughs> and the first one hits, and you feel him start to, like, he starts to shriek as this black dust starts to get in your way. You don't quite see the last one, and you just suddenly realize that you're not grabbing on to anything anymore. This, this thing just dissipates into the air. Oh. 
Oh, well. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> I, I will not be using it as a cushion. <laughs> it just falls. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, feather fall. Okay. Um, so since he's out of range right now, I'm going to let you try to catch him on the way down. Yeah. Roll me. Uh, can you put uh, feather fall into chat for me? I think it can require uh, semantic components. No, the verbal material. Yep, which I have a small feather. Okay, go ahead and roll. Thank you. A. We'll see if we can save our friend who's fallen. Oh, yay! Let's go with performance checks. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yes! That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you see it, Avril start to fly down and uh with without his wings because he does not have them. uh but in a Flapping flash, his arms. You're, gonna, you're quick to uh shout at him and uh you he starts to suddenly start to fall a little slower he starts to glide down what how do you take this afro <laughs> uh, i feel like as he's falling he's just like oh well it was a good run yeah, uh, there we go. I finally done it. I have done the deed that will be Why am I still falling? Uh <laughs> just like, like yes, I have accomplished the thing that will be my name stay. I I will um Wow, this is taking a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I think you think you might be flying right now, Avril. How does that feel? Yeah, you are I feel down. like I almost have it. I'm so close. Actually, Luna's gonna yell, uh, Look at you, Avril! You're flying! You're actually fucking flying! Hi, go up! I'm no. not going up. Ah, oh, this is no, this it's is not flying. It's only a wind. No, down. it's, it's just flying. like it's a it's so it's like a float. It's like a it's like yeah. a land in cotton. It's invisible. That's cloud. not flying. I don't know where you. You're falling with style, okay? <laughs> I will say that it was very stylish. Yeah, it. I will fly. Okay. Black dust, smoke. What happened, by the way? I was like, hey, where's the worms? And they're like, die. Yeah, you, you make it to the ground, Avril. Uh, Let's go. You guys, the rest of you guys uh, Let's go. meet up. What do, what do you guys do? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, uh, let's try not to catch their attention. Like, that's the whole point was to just not catch their attention. Who's um, they? I'm so confused. Okay. Demir. No. Oh, is that who they were? It's just the beginning. All right. I thought they were, like, part of the worm thing. No, they're not. Avril, I think you and I need to behave until we get this thing that Runner apparently has fucked up on. Fix. What do you mean? Like All right, right. Someone right. needs to check her out. I, I feel, feel like Avril like hasn't read the play bill, and it's making it hard for him to get with the program. I think we I'm need to get out of this sure road. How, I'm not even sure how they found out about anything yet. Una immediately looks at Nichak. I think it's my boss. You told your boss. Well, you, uh, you warned no, them. I, Did you say it was runner? I, I, I think that. I, well, I. Th she already knew. She told me that there was somebody that that was, that was doing the stuff and and i had to find out who it was and then i went to go tell her that i found out who it was and she said hey i should probably just kill that guy but i don't want to kill a runner i prefer you didn't i would prefer not to do that either same <laughs> i'd rather not kill someone i like shut up don't don't do it don't <laughs> even say it don't even say it <laughs> that, uh, was, was that the f word no it's i said liked Okay. Look, I, 
I like you. Like starts with L. I've learned this. I feel like you went to college and that's what you came away with. (laughs) Well, yeah, I mean, you're going to start somewhere. All right. So you guys uh, know that you need to head to the canopy. There's obviously someone after you now. Like, you knew that before, but now it's like for real. Like, someone's after you. Yeah, there's uh, there's no way I'm getting out of this unless we get out of Ravnica. Well, I think we need to... Uh, well, the quicker we get this uh, meeting done, the seems the quicker we'll be able to move about. Yeah, so... We're... Meet him. Hopefully take care of the runner situation. Yeah. So apparently we're, like, planeswalkers now. So you Which guys know... Like, super cool. Yeah, you guys to activate it. So keeping in mind that someone is after you, there is the supposed worm up in the canopy area, or to the south, there's a strange old man that's been spouting off prophecies. Which one do you guys want? How do you guys want to do that? We're splitting, right? I mean, is it a good idea to split up now, knowing that uh, uh, not we're being hunted? Not that he didn't... Happened. That creature didn't say that it was just me. It said... It alluded to all of you. No, they're it's looking for all of us. I thing I'm looking for. And was walking right yeah. in front of I don't think it's a good I idea to us, to, for us to split up, but I do think we should follow up with the old man before going for the worm first. I suggest I can take one of you to find the old man, and then we can teleport back with the others in an instant. Take Avril. He's been lousy and he's super good. I'll do it. I will not take Avril to... <laughs> to do a diplomatic uh, search. I don't be diplomatic. Know. We're not running short on time. Let's just, uh, just, let's just go to the old man. <laughs> that, to, to find running short on time. Look, the sooner we get this done, the sooner we can get that meeting going, the sooner we can get a price off of your head, runner. Yeah, that price is coming off. That They're not going to give up, no matter what we do. Well, it looks like you're going to have to come live with me me and the Ragnos cult. I had oh. so many agents within the cult. I can only imagine the rest of Demir probably has a ton of agents in the cult as well. Uh, well that, uh, that, uh, that dude, easy to get into. The dude with the dog, he died, right? Yeah, he got blasted by a fireball. Absolutely. <laughs> um, How dead is he? Uh, let's just say there is a pile of bones and nice fried Skittles. <laughs> Damn. Like the Texas okay, State I can, Fair. Damn. I should revive him if he was still a body, but it sounds like he's been mutilated, so I can't. I mean, he was undead to begin with. No, I think he meant no, the, Skittles. Uh, the old man. Oh, the pup. Yeah. Yeah, the guy you talked to. Oops. Yeah, he got pretty blasted. It doubled his hit points. So. Yeah. <laughs> Una, Una is angry. Okay, you don't you don't touch her wolf. Yeah, we should we should probably get out of here. Yeah. Let's just uh, let's just head for the old man. Let's go. You know, yes, I will. I will go with to go old man. I I vote old man. Let's go. And Una just starts walking. We don't use fire much. Mega, we're not we're not punching the old man. We're not doing anything violent to the old man. We're just gonna. We're looking for information. Okay, let's not rule out. We're not talking talking about the dryads. We're not talking about the nature people. We're not talking about religion. We're talking about this guy. He's talking. You know, intimidating. I'm really good with intimidating. Intimidate him if he refuses to talk. Okay. I just start Naruto running south. You guys look back at me, chicks. <laughs> why, why are you holding your arms like that? As I just kind of jog alongside. <laughs> Makes me more aerodynamic. Up to them. So, Naruto run, a jog, a scorpion bonus, and a wolf. Did you, did you learn that, like, in Golgari? Did they teach you that Strixhaven, or is that from your home? Oh, I, I, I learned it from a comic. I mean, let me know if it works. I think it does. <laughs> you haven't read that comic, The Legend of Garuto? 
you, you seem to be struggling a little bit, like you're falling forward every once in a while. I don't know. I well, just... uh, I'm leaning forward, and that's how I'm getting there, just a little bit faster. But I'm holding my arms back to keep my balance. Okay, knee check. More noodle. More noodle to the arms, you know, let them wave in the wind freely. No, you got to keep them stiff. <laughs> um... That's not how science works, but okay. So you, guys... you need to hold your hands higher. How are you guys going as fast I as us? Avril, I imagine Avril doing the run where he's like back straight, like, like arms pumping, like <laughs> old man drunk. No, he Jason walks everywhere. You don't know how he got there first, but he did. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys are decided to go as a group to talk to the old man? Yeah. I think so. Okay. So you guys <laughs> make it over to the concordance area. Holy shit, how's that real then? I'm going to suggest everybody use uh, um, their masks or whatever to disguise yourself in the meantime. I am always masked Specifically up. Runner. I mean, I've, I've never worn this outfit in public, and it covers up everything except for my fingers and my eyes, and they still found me. So I, uh, they must be scrying. They're using magic of some sort to find me. They... Do you have an object on you that I can fix that. You know you have? Oh wait. You know, no, you... no, nothing. Like any meeting I've ever had with Demir was very was private. I didn't take he anything along. Flicks you in the middle of your forehead and cast non protection on you. Avril does that. <laughs> yes, Avril does. He says, "Oh, you scrying? Wow. Oh, Go. that hurts." No, oh, yeah, I I don't have to cast it that way, but it's more fun for me. <laughs> I don't think the blind eternity is for you anymore. Oh, where where are it we? It makes it so people can find you. It doesn't make you invisible or anything, but they can't like see you or the weird shit. So as you guys walk through the streets, um through the concordance area you notice that several structures have been reclaimed by overgrowth and several of these structures contain symbols and regalia of the Orzov syndicate um love it hate it yeah how do you guys plan to find out where this guy is at <laughs> reception checks all around <laughs> yay Recall perception check. Investigate. Okay. Athletics. <laughs> I'm gonna run and jump off of everything. <laughs> I'm gonna run and jump off of everything until I find them. What's everybody's perception? Uh, my passive is twelve. Yeah, I got a passive twelve. I'm terrible at perception. Okay, so oh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna blast black. I'm gonna blast me. Passive investigation is twenty. I'm going to bless me, runner, and check. Yeah. So you can add a D4 to your ability checks. I'm just yeah. casually walking along. Okay. Oh, wait, that's, oh, wait, that's not what bless us. That's what guidance does. So guidance. I'm <laughs> jumping on a balconies yelling if I can't have people. But I thought we, we had the talk on the way over. We told him we're not trying to hurt this old man. I'm going to tie Avril down. You're going to what? Oh, dear. Okay. Um, so, Runner, you come to a woman kind of cross-legged sitting down on the street. She um, has like a group of a few people sitting around her. Um, Avril, you jump down directly in front of a Ladev guardian who is on patrol. Perfect. Um, Blackwell, you see a man, he has a knife in his hand, he's kind of like messing with something, and he's kind of whistling a little tune. 
I'll um I'll approach the elder person. Uh, kind elder, you by chance wouldn't know somebody local that uh, tells of the future, speaks prophecy. Oh yes, the Emerald Oracle. I have tons of stories about about him as well, and everybody's like, "Ooh, kind of looking intrigued." He seems to be telling uh, stories around this circle. <laughs> where would I be able to find this uh, Emerald Prophet? You said uh, the Emerald Oracle. Emerald Oracle. Mm-hmm. So, she says the uh, the Emerald Oracle. He he's an old man that calls himself the such. He walks around Precinct 3 spreading his message of um, the end rays uh, and the coming of uh, Ilhard, the rays boy. Um, she says he, he's been seen and with a few acolytes around, they seem to head off to the south where there's this abandoned um, Orzov Temple. It says he tends to, from what I'm, what I've heard, he tends to sit by his fountain and smoke his his pipe. That's how he has these visions. Got smoke the pipe and gets visions. I've seen people like that. <laughs> kind of sounds like us in college, remember? Oh, yeah. My whole dorm room was a smoke pit. <laughs> I mean, you were so specifically like, you guys grew visions. plants. It, yeah, yeah. That was like, your plants was like the whole thing. Yeah, we usually um, ate them. We didn't light them on fire, but I mean, same thing. Thank you, kind elder. I appreciate the information. I've wanted to uh, lay my eyes on this Emerald Oracle for, for some time. Yeah, uh, and he, he tends to come out about once a week. Haven't seen him yet this week. I'm not, I'm not sure what they do in the, the temple, but they say that they can heal the sick. Um, looks like we're heading to precinct, precinct three, the south, looking for an old Orzov. If someone else tries to take my armor off, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> um, okay. I said healing, not that they're gonna cure curses, right? Well, Renner comes to us with that information. I don't feel like I need to approach the afterlife. Okay. Yeah, I bowed to the to the lady and then walked over and let the group know. Okay. Um, Avril is not present as he jumped down to another road, jumping right in front of a uh, Lezadev. What is it called? Can't remember the word. Ledev Guardian, who was on patrol. He says, Citizen, why are you jumping around? Uh, I'm looking for a giant worm to fight. Or, well, really, well, anything anything interesting to fight. You Uh, could fight me. Oh, but I would like to fight the giant worm. My people would be mad at me if I fight random people again. Apparently, that's not okay. Well, uh, you know, our worms, uh, they are housed at the, uh, the, what do you call it? I feel like this isn't a housed worm. I feel like this is a worm problem. No, we, we keep our are uh, worms restrained and mauled in these It would be really nonsensical for them to send me to do something that you guys already have that I'm in am, you know? I do I know? <laughs> uh, I missed what you said, Avril. Sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I, said, uh, I said, well, the dryads told us to come deal with the worms so it'd be really dumb of them to I mean they're stupid as shit anyways but like it'd be stupid of them even dumber to like make us come deal with a problem you guys already had under control that's the that's the military's worms the, the Lodev we we use worms to fight in fight the gruel off 
from coming into our area. Oh, yeah, you're definitely going to need those against those darn ghoul. Um, uh, so, <laughs> changing topics abruptly into <laughs> more worm stuff. So, what is worm stuff you don't have under control? Well, we, we seem to keep things pretty much in wraps. So I'm not sure what you've heard. I don't know. Do you want a box? Uh, no, I, I, I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm, I'm on patrol right now. With... Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm just going to be on my way. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you guys know where Avril went? Like and he's that. just gonna walk down this path. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, you start to head back towards where the the party was. Um, Una, Una will send a message uh, pointing in the direction that she thinks Avril might be, and it's like, Avril, where the fuck did you go? Avril yeah. just took off like Holt jumping off of the sides of buildings. <laughs> he only needs to be 120 feet. Uh, in a hole. Yeah, you you I get the message, Avril. They, they, they do not know anything about the worm. Apparently, they use them in the military here, but they don't know about this one specifically. So it's not like we're fighting a Jimmy. It's like we're fighting a what? <laughs> okay. Well. You ran off on your own. Get your ass back here. Well, I didn't run. Mostly, I just jumped. Like I said, you went off on your own. Okay. Okay, that's great. Now, <laughs> if we can go to the where here is, we can get to the next part of this conversation. All okay. right. You guys end up meeting back up. Uh, with the information that Runner received. You guys, uh, what, what do you guys do? You guys head down towards the south or carry it on somewhere else? Hey, Avril, we found out where the uh, the old lady is, or the old man is. Oh, that's great. I found out that the military has no idea they have wild rampaging So the worm thing must be like really recent. Very it's recent. all ours. Look, uh, we're doing this as a favor. It's all ours. Let's hurry this up. What does that mean? It's all ours. Well, that not... means they will not be horning in on our kill. So uh, heading for three, three, and, and the way comes down the. Uh, the location to the uh, an abandoned Orzov temple. You guys do across a kind of overgrown area where you see the uh, entrance to Orzov uh, building. It looks like it's mostly crumbled, like the spires kind of fallen off. Uh, but there is the the bottom floor seems to be intact still. Um, let me get you guys' tokens out here. Just a single door button. Yeah, so you guys uh, come to... This... Do -do -do. Oh, <laughs> you come to the front... Uh, that looks like they're made of stone engraved with an Orzov guild symbol. Um, yeah, it looks like there's this large keyhole right in the center. I think it's locked. There's a tug on the door, and it seems to not budge. I could try to pick the lock. I will the problem. Open. 
I'm just saying, if we want to use group for There's a lot of like There's a lock look as a uh, battery grip. Does the lock look like a typical mechanical lock or like a ancient or stone something? It looks old, but it looks mechanical. I'm just going to check for, like, traps or anything that might be, yeah. you know, hidden Don't needles or anything in the lock, basically, go for. Don't roll an investigation. Wait, wait, I have an idea. And Una's going to open her bag of tricks and get another animal out. If uh, if I don't see any hidden needles or anything, then I'll go ahead and pull my tools out of my pouch and try to fix the lock. Okay. Yeah, you don't see any traps. Four, three. I'm just eyeballing this wolf trying to figure out how to fast put it into a battering ram. Uh, it's much bigger than I'll that. give you the gloves I, I manifested. So... Yeah, you, uh, on, giant oak. you start to pick the nope. the lock you hear some little clicks as you're turning your tools in there and you you feel the the lock turn there we go that should let us in i've been picking up all skills over the last year this is good because i could not figure out how to make bigger wolf into smaller battering ram uh, i think oh, i see I the guy so as you guys enter, or do you enter in the room, Blackwell? Um, you pull this back as you open it up. You see two. Um, they look like monks. Like you've seen one uh, observing a statue. Uh, kind of, it looks like he's praying to the statue over to the left side. Uh, there's another one coming down the stairs, off in the far. Uh, the, the area. You see this large like an old man smoking a pipe uh sitting next to it staring into the water the acolytes kind of look at you like what are you doing here um i'm going to disregard the acolytes and start heading towards the pool of water with the guy thank you flap um okay you guys I'll, see i'll follow up in uh the uh it was it was unlocked. Sorry, uh, we know. Are, are you guys doing anything private right now? We just wanted a chance to talk to the Emerald Oracle. I've heard so much. One of the uh, monks comes up to you guys and he he says, "Oh yes, the um, the Oracle. He uh, have you came looking for healing, perhaps?" Came for the visions. Yeah, we heard that. Uh, we heard that the pipe that with the visions was uh, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, of course, but I, I cannot enter uh, in the middle of his vision. He doesn't like to be interrupted. Oh, the crazy! I could. Which way is he? Is that him? Hey, uh, fucker! Okay. He, uh, you see the old man looks at you, takes a drag of his pipe, blows out like this blue smoke, and then he just kind of seems to ignore you as he looks back down into the. Uh, the not even an O or anything? That's terrible. Did you see that? The acolyte says it, it's best to keep your voice. I have an idea. Send I would like to reiterate that he is canonically coming back. I um, should I just should I stand on his left hand side? I, can, I will sit on his lap and ask for a bicycle. We don't even know this old man. We're trying to figure out if he's good or bad. Let's not do nothing to. Yeah, you got to chance to handle this. Luna sends her rat in just to call. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's a I'm pretty sure they've got rats. <laughs> it's a giant rat. It's just boss rat. Of all the other little rats, just start following the big rat. <laughs> like, oh, God. Little person. 
We got some. What is the web? Black on. I know not a, a worm. He I'm says. Like, does this guy do the worm thing? He, uh, this seems just to be an, uh, an acolyte, um, from what you can tell. <laughs> yeah, but if he doesn't know anything about a worm, then what the fuck am I doing here? He's an acolyte of a guy that's supposed to do worm stuff. If he doesn't know anything about a worm, then, like... We don't, don't know if the guy has anything to do with worm stuff. So we're we investigating. Oh, this is why I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> That was kind of cool how I could click and open the lock of the door. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you. Well, Black, well, you said you wanted to do what now? Uh, hold on, let me, let me find it so I can post it. Is in touch with um okay so you can see the the pool of water um up the stairs it seems like you just see the side of it like there's just this like stone encirclement of of water now, you can't see the water however you do see this blue glow start to come off of it as you use your channel divinity as I suspect, there's um, some weird connection to the wine of cannabis in this pool. So should we like go swim in it or find the worm? That I don't makes know. sense. When I open underwater, it's I, I can't see how anything. Most of this works. I just know I'm I here feel to feel like something. he's inadvertently activating this portal. Um, kind of like he might have some kind of planar connection like a planeswalker and not realize it. So I should knock him out before he figures it out. Well, or let's we go. Let's go see if we can talk to him. Strong guy. Uh, yeah, I would, I would um, tell Runner when I see and everything. Way less fun. Yeah, the app is uh, hold on before you go any further. You must pay respects to Gaia if you enter our temple. I got a solid three. Who or what is is Gaia? She is the nature spirit. <laughs> oh, well, these... yeah, we're cool. I feel like we've already paid each other off plenty of times. Do you Quite see, in this room, it looks like there's been a, a shrine to this uh, uh, deity. Uh, like around the room, the statues kind of depict this, this uh, female holding like a wreath of uh, flowers that kind of just like flows down her hand uh, on both sides. Uh, below them, you see several bouquets of flowers, some weird like um, totems that's been crafted, kind of laying out on the floor next to them. Hey, do you guys like dryads or something? Uh, yes, dryads are. One of the many creatures of Gaia. Uh, Avril, Avril, can you go like sit outside? <laughs> I feel like I should speak my mind about this. I feel like you should. <laughs> uh, but, uh, just, well, my badger comes over and like I don't like does it. Does a little but I will. Avril, like, come on, come on. <laughs> Try to kind okay. of speak up loudly to kind of talk <laughs> over Avril. Um, so anyway, um, you, what kind of worship is entailed with this Gaia thing? I, um, I've never heard of this spirit. Um, he He's says, bullshit. he just walks outside. I'm out there with him. He kind of sh shakes his head <laughs> towards the door as he says, Gaia is the, uh, Gaia shit. That's what she is. <laughs> He says she uh she's the one that controls the plants and animals. Uh she she's the goddess of the hunt. She 
You know what? I love her. Yeah, she she is the. Uh, let me see. And what is uh, what is paying homage to her entail? What kind of offering would she desire? She, um, let me see here. Da, da, da. He says, well, typically uh, elves and druids pray to her for blessings of healing. Uh, also for uh, blessings of, of food and, and such. Um, it says typically any uh, crafted offering of uh, of totems will be Gaia making a totem. Uh, yes, yep. Uh, typically, druids and and elves will craft totems of flowers and twigs and such uh, as a gift to the nature spirit. Well, I don't believe there's any among us who have, who follow that ways or even would know how to begin doing them. As well, the least you could do is, is pray and ask for her blessing to enter our temple. Um, <laughs> as he is talking you see the old man starts to walk down the steps. He says, uh, he says it's quite all right. Uh, says, what is the meaning of this intrusion? We're looking for the crazy. Crazy. Um, and there seems to be a magical force coming from this area. Uh, we were informed um, that uh, someone spoke a prophecy and thought there might be a connection. I'm very interested in uh, in hearing about your prophecies and how that works. Oh, interesting. So you speak of prophecies, and you come into my temple, and you call me a crazy old man. Well, well I don't think we all hold that opinion. You'll have to excuse my more crass uh, <laughs> companions. They're not usually for polite company. I am an agent of chaos. Say it correctly. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a persuasion check for me, Renner. Fight me! <laughs> typically don't <laughs> announce stuff like that. And Admiral, you sit outside. Are you done yet? Okay. Um... He kind of just uh, <laughs> passes over uh, the comments he made. He says, well, if you are truly interested, he says, I've gay asked me with a vision of the raised boar. He intends to bring about the end rays and destroy the rest of the civilization that's corrupted our natural land. Rays boar? Yes, so you'll are. Yes. I'm going to whisper to Runner. Um, it seems that he may have been, um, he may be being manipulated by an otherworldly force the same way uh, our is it companion was. I'm thinking maybe something close to the same thing. The, um, who, wh who or what is a rays boar? I'll say that to the old man. It says, uh, the raised boar is an ancient god of Ravnica. He is, uh, he is a god that takes the form of a boar. The ghouls tend to worship him. Uh, they, in their eyes, they see that they are bringing the coming of the end rays. Uh, right now, that's not the case. Well, we have dealt with um, a few uh, people very much like yourself who are trying to bring back the same outcome with different gods. 
seems there is a war coming between these different gods, and they plan to make this place their battleground, despite what any acolytes or even civilians um, have planned or uh, uh, input to a battle. He says, uh, well, if that's the case, it seems that our, we're not so far on our objectives. I am myself am making preparations for the end rays. And I'm looking for my shard. An ancient stone that will help me help me rebuild after the end rays comes. In the meantime, we've held ourselves up in this temple getting ready for the destruction. Where, uh, where's the last place you saw that shard? And what does it look like? Well, it's this multi-hued shard. Its purposes are un unimportant, but uh, the last time I seen it, I was speaking to a high priest of the Selesnia Conclave. And after that, it wasn't in my bag anymore. I'm pretty sure he took it. Do you have any connection to this rumor of uh, of escaped worms? I I may know a thing or two about it. Who who asks? Apparently, they've caused some trouble, and somebody's hired us to uh, to make sure that they don't cause the same kind of trouble for the same person again. We're not really interested in everything as a whole. We're just interested in people this, very uh, much, our, our client. Yeah, people very much um, who want to protect the natural land. Says, well, it seems that you have told the truth to me so far, so I have to respond by being truthful myself. Says, I may have sanctioned some acolytes to release a worm from the Selesnia's farm of beasts. I did not intend for it to go out of hand, but it did take out that high priest's temple, so there's something. I haven't turned up with my shard yet, though. Well, um... Do you know in what vicinity the, uh, the worm was released? The last I heard, he was making his way down a path of destruction through the through the canopy area. I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to find him if that's what you're looking for. He leaves a a trail in his wake of destruction. The kind of mindless mindless beasts. Very well. We'll see about getting your shard and. Um into this worm as our, our client has asked. Thank you very much. I'll look at Blackwell to see if there's anything else he wants to say. Um, no. Uh, I think we've gotten everything. Thank you. It's, it's your, you're welcome. Please please let me know if you find my, my shark. Um. As I start heading out the door, I'm going to whisper to Runner that this guy is very much problematic. He needs to oh. be. Um, Absolutely. We, we got to make sure he does not get that shard. He's another one trying to destroy the, the realm. I want to get my hands on that shard before we deal with him, though, just in case. Yeah. And uh, um, we know where the worm came from. And why they don't want us to kill it. Yes, sir. As, we, uh, as we walk out, uh, I'll close the door behind us to kind of get some semblance of privacy, and as we walk a little bit away, I'll let everybody outside know what we just learned. Um, before before you do that, after you close the door, I'd like to take the chance to go ethereal to get a closer look at the pool. Okay. Okay. And see, disappears. I'll kind of draw away from the door and tell everybody else uh, what's going on. 
Okay. So it looks it looks like the the oracle in there uh, got to his acolytes to release the worm. He's looking for some sort of shard. Uh, Blackwell and I think the possibility he's working for the same person that that raw guy was working for. Blackwell said he could spot some kind of like opening or tear into the blind eternities now. Are you saying that to Una? I'm saying that to everybody as we get as I get out, kind of have a little powwow. Me, yeah, me, yeah, me, me and Avril yeah. are yeah. <laughs> we're, we're climbing up onto the roof to keep a lookout. Oh, then I guess I'll, I'll, I'll wave, <laughs> yeah. at, you I'll wave at you guys if you see. Oh, he just guys, convinced guys. Avril that it was a good idea to climb up high so he could get a jump on the bad guys that were probably coming our way. And he's like, you know, that's a good idea. And he just like scooped me check up and was like, let's go. And just started to climb up the side of the building. Yeah, I'll, uh, if you guys are even paying attention, I'll gesture for you guys to come back down so we can do the whole thing. But I'll tell Una at least while they're separated so somebody else knows. Okay. So, uh, Blackwell, as you walk up to the um, the water, pool of water, um, you see it in your ethereal forms. kind of still has this glow to it. Um, it doesn't look like a portal necessarily, but it does look like it kind of borders through the, the blind eternities. Uh, you do see that there is a... Um, you do start to have a vision as you kind of stare into the pool. You can see stuff happening through the little ripples in the water. Um, let's see here. You start to see... Um, you start to see the streets of Ravnica take form in, inside of the water. Um, moving through the streets, it's kind of foggy, but you see these like blue figures just moving through the streets of Ravnica. You see like these forms of human humanoids just getting ripped apart by these blue creatures. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for me, Blackwell. Can I use my passive instead? Uh, yeah, I'll go with your passive. Uh, so you um, noticed one figure standing behind the the group of blue figures that uh, kind of has their hand raised, and like this seems like they're controlling these these blue figures. Um, just as you kind of like are starting to peer into who that is, uh, the vision kind of dissipates as like. Ripples start to flow across the water. Um, so, uh, I want to do two more things. I'd like to peek my head in these doors to see um, what might be behind those and see if I can get a closer look at his uh, flute or pipe. Okay. Um, so, in, in, as uh, you're still ethereal, right? Um, yeah, I, I don't think you can interact with the doors. All right, well, if it's, oh, if it's really mounted to the ground, right? I think you can. Let's see. Do you have that ability that you can put in chat? <laughs> so you can move through other creatures and others that they're different. Okay, so you can move through the door. Um, yeah. Yeah, so peek inside of this one. I, I don't think I can open them on my end. Oh, it's okay. So this one, uh, you see a couple acolytes standing inside of there reading some books. It looks like the walls of this uh, area have are, looks like a library. Like, it looks like there's a bunch of books on shelves on the wall. You, you see one acolyte in there. He looks like he's performing 
it's kind of cool. You see like these onto the ground and he seems to be like holding up a bouquet of flowers and kind of like moving down. <clears throat> Odd. Um, I feel like that would be good to show this lens to me and see if they recognize it. Okay. Yeah, you got your uh, thought strand uh, spell or whatever. Yeah. The last thing is to get a pipe and see if it right. looks like a magic pipe or something. Um, go ahead and roll an Arcana check for me. Um, so you look at the pipe, uh, it doesn't seem to have magical effects itself, but you do see this, the quarter staff that he walks with. Uh, it's got these like, um, it's got like an emerald handle in the, in the middle of it, uh, sir, around which there's like a wood staff on either side and it's got these like intricate carvings that don't quite line up uh, but that looks like it could be a magical item okay so he might be smoking something that's magical and he has a staff that that definitely looks magical correct yeah all right good intel i'm gonna go meet up with uh a runner outside and drop the here okay so as you, you, as you see Runner uh, kind of looking up to the top of the building where you see Avril uh, <laughs> climbing the uh, broken spire that's fallen onto a cliffside. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I, have, I told Una, but I have a thing that they're still playing around. <laughs> yeah. Avril is planning to use knee check as extra weight for a flying attack on whatever comes out of that door next while he's trying to convince Una to go in and tell the priest to come outside and also see if he's a suspect. And oh, knee check is like, uh, this is, this is a bad idea. Please don't drop me. I shouldn't Honestly, come up here. I don't know why you got on my back in the first place. <laughs> Because he wanted to go up there with you, obviously. I was like, this is great for me. I don't see a problem with this at all how this turns out. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's up here like, this was a bad idea. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. We just got to wait for him to come out. I got half as much we'll health as you. Attack. It's going to be a smash. That's what I'm going to call I it. I have to ask, are they, is they possibly high enough to take fall damage? Uh, I know we got to go here pretty soon. I'm my head in the door real quick and just be like, oh, um, Mr. Emerald Oracle guy. Uh, you didn't tell us specifically which person you were talking to when you last had the shard. What Can I get a specific location, maybe a name? Um, I, don't, I don't know his name. He was a, a Luxodon. Uh, he... Elder Luxodon? He was elder, yes. I think I've run into him. Thank you very much, and I'll close the door. <laughs> <one away. laughs> okay. Yeah. Just I'll... yelled. Yeah, uh, guy. No, we we got more people to go talk to. We're we're looking for something. Are you sure he is not a bad guy? We might be back, but we'll see. Well, um, Apple, you figure Apple, it out. Apple, Apple. Apple. I'm in a great spot. Just bring him out the front. This is going to be wonderful. Can, can somebody catch me? If he drops me, can someone just catch me, please? I wasn't. No, we dropped together. That's the whole point of this is the weight. Added weight is going to be great. Uh, uh, seems bad. You can't use knee check as added weight. He's not... He doesn't have your resilience. Well, he, he'd oh, still God. be landing okay. on me. I feel like this is... I don't see the problem here. Are you, you won't break after last... So, I like, might. 40, 50 feet, feet we'll be okay. On, on that note, um, I'm going to go ahead and call uh, this portion here since we have to we, we have finish it up right now. Got other things to do today. Um, but... Uh, Knee check. Uh, I see that uh, you guys were asking if we could keep going if if you leave. Knee check. Um, are you cool with that? Or 
Yeah, I just, wanna... I'm going to have to shut the stream off because I have to restart my computer and do all yeah, that. Yeah, that's cool. So, I mean, we can... it's, it's up I to you guys. Yeah. I think I might still have the old stream key. I could pick up stream unless you're streaming me. I'm I'm not. I think it's all uh, Randy right now. I, yeah, I, it, it is on me. Um, I mean, if, if you can pick it up, go for it. Um, or I can just record it and just send you the VOD for uh, YouTube later. Uh, yeah, I mean, if if you want to, I just know that I'm going to be opening it back up here in like 50 minutes or so. So, uh, so yeah, he's going to be streaming a different day. Yeah, because we're doing yeah, a, I think it's a, okay. It's a not going to be the day we miss. So we can shot. just give a little preface. Yeah. For next time. Just I don't, think, just I think don't kill me. A pretty clear idea of what's going on right now. So. Just, just don't but, kill me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> just don't die. We're just jumping like sixty feet down. It's gonna be okay. I don't know what happened to Don Well between the last couple of days, but he has gotten very suicidal. <laughs> Not suicidal. He's just now fully sure that he's gonna survive anything because he is a planeswalker, baby. You are. You are not a planeswalker yet. I'm just yeah, saying. he's a planeswalker. The seven d six could kill me. Yeah, planeswalker. <laughs> On that note, uh, thank you everyone to, for watching out there. Uh, we'll uh, record or recap what's going on here in the next. We're only playing for like another maybe hour or so, so won't miss too much. <laughs> um, All right, I'm gonna shut yeah. shut this boy down. Uh, Thanks for coming yeah. and watching. Cheers, guys.